Hey guys, so yeah, OnePlus says latest flagship, the OnePlus 11 is now official and it is clear OnePlus is here to stay and give it a fight to Samsung and Xiaomi. So yeah, again it is a non-pro OnePlus 11, yeah, I won't say it is a successor to the OnePlus 10 Pro and the specifications it has makes it an amazing not so expensive flagship. So comes in this small red package and this is the glossy green finish which looks fantastic. This is a matte black edition too but I like the glossy green one. There are some manual, a clear case and a 100 watts of adapter plus type A to type C iconic red cable. So a nice job done overall. Now in terms of the specifications, we have a 6.7 inch high resolution 3rd gen LTPO panel which can go from 1Hz to 120Hz and vice versa instantly. So yeah, it is gonna save battery and give smooth experience at the same time. Sad part is, unlike the Xiaomi 13 Pro, it is not E6 AMOLED or has highest peak brightness but got basic specs which is fine for that price. The highlight of this device is Qualcomm's 8 Gen 2 powerful silicon lpddr 5 x RAM, UFS 4.0 storage and a massive graphite heat dissipation system. So yeah, without any doubt it is powerful, is power efficient and you all can count on this device when playing games, rendering or doing multitasking job. This device runs ColorOS 13 out of the box in China and will likely have OxygenOS 13.1 outside China. Now yeah, cameras are not the best part about OnePlus and they have done no to less changes. So we have a Sony IMX 890 main, 48 megapixel super wide, 32 megapixel telephoto which can do 2x optical and 20x digital zoom. Some official camera samples shared by OnePlus, yeah it does have Hasselblad color signs and can be seen day and nightlight images shot on OnePlus 11 are fantastic. So summing up, 5000mAh battery plus 8 Gen 2 power efficient and powerful silicon, 3rd Gen LTPO and fast charging are the main highlight of this flagship and again for a non-pro variant like this, these are some decent specifications. So the OnePlus 11 starts at 3999 yuan for 12 plus 256 which is even cheaper than the Xiaomi 13. So yeah, I want to know your honest thoughts on this device. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe and I will meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.